Do you want to use Cloud Code, the celebrated coding agent from Anthropic with your Olava or any other model? Then maybe have a look at this new open source tool called as Cloud Code Router, which is a local proxy or compatibility layer that sits between the Cloud Code CLI and various AI backends. In this video, we are going to install it and then I am going to show you how you can integrate this Cloud Code Router with Olama based models, OpenAI, Gemini, Open Router, or any other model under the sun as long as you have the proper API endpoint or key if it is required. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. If you are interested in the actual original Cloud Code CLI from Anthropic, I have done heaps of videos on it, so you can search it on the channel. Coming back to this Cloud Code Router tool, what it does is it transforms Anthropic style requests and responses so you can route tasks to other providers based on rules like default, background, think, or even long context. You can even optionally apply per model transformers and logging, plus you can use some API key. Now, one very important question which might be arising in your mind, and I was also thinking about it going through Cloud Code uh, terms and condition to see if it is legit or not. Well, I'm not really entirely sure, but functionally, I think that's a legit middleware. But whether it violates original Cloud Code depends on how it is used, of course. So I'm just going to use it um, to use it with Olama models. I'm not going to bypass any Anthropic's account requirement, regional restrictions or usage limits. And plus it is not even using those models like Cloud Sonnet or Opus. It is totally using Olama based models, which I will be showing you. Also, it primarily shows you the brilliance of reverse engineering and how this person has really, really went through the code and created this tool where you can just simply use this as a proxy or middleware layer to intercept the traffic and then you can simply use it on your own local system. So, but as far as licensing is concerned, using this in uh, business scenarios, please do your own due diligence. Um, and I'm not really in a position to really comment on that because depends on the use case, depends on how you use it, but make sure that you comply with all the terms and conditions of the original Cloud Code. So, but I'm just going to use this open source Cloud Code Router with Olava to show you how you can use or even you can build your own <clears throat> middleware tier to get it using. So let's get it installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to master compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Now, Look, I'm not going to use a TGP VRAM for this purpose, but just because I was using this system for another video, so I thought maybe I'll reuse it. I'm going to use it with Olama. I already have Olama installed and my model, which I'm going to use is this one 2.5 coder in 14 billion. You can use any model from Olama. Now, if you don't know what Olama is, it is one of the easy tool to run models locally, best starting point in addition to LM Studio and few other tools. So I just put it because it's just a hobby demo project local uh, personal one. So that is why I'm just going to use with Olama based models. And you can see that Olama is installed. Next up, one of the prerequisites which you need to have is to node and NPM installed. And you can see that it is installed too. Okay, so we are all good and uh, good to go. And in order to install this router, all you need to do is to just run this npm command. You can also build it in from source. There is also a Docker file which you can get it installed, but I'm just going to go the easy way through npm install. And you can see that it is installed now. And my version is this very early version and it the help is very simple. It shows you how to start, how to stop and how to actually start running it with some sort of model here. Now, before even I start the CCR or 
plot code router let me show you a config file if i quickly do ls dash la you will see that i have this config.json file which i already have configured let me take you to my vs code to show you that file and you can also find it in the repo and this is all you need to do you just need to define provider for example this is a olama one which i'm going to use olama is already installed on the default port where it is using olama based 22.5 coder model i think i'm just going to go 14 billion here because that is what i am using i'm not using the default quantized one and then uh, for example if you want to use google's one you just put, need to put your gemini api key or whatever models you are using and then from the for op open ai you can use this one now there are two ways you can put in your key either you just directly hard code it here or you define it in your environment variable and then um, access it through dollar sign it is going to take the value of your key from here and this is a paid option and this is also a paid option but it comes with very liberal free tier so you can grab your key from aistudio.google.com for this you can grab your key from platform.openai.com and then this is the actual router which is being defo defined by default if you don't give anything it is going to use openai but you can use it uh, olama based model so i'm just going to replace my default with this one think for thinking reasoning model you can go with openai or whatever even of course olama and uh, for web search you can go with gemini and all that stuff so i'm not going to do web search in this one so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to pick it up first i'm going to change it to 14 billion and replace the value and i'm just going to keep rest of it as is so i have saved it and i'm not going to specify any keys because i just want to show you with olama let's go back to the terminal and let's run this Running is fairly easy. All you need to do is to just type CCR code and it is going to start it. And as soon as you start it, it starts your service. You can also first even run CCR start. It is going to run the background service. And now it is asking, okay, um, it can read your stuff and all this. Just click on proceed and then you can just point it to uh, anywhere. Now you see, at the back end, it is using Claude code. So you also need to install it previously, which is again an NPM command. Remember, this is a middleware. It doesn't have any agent of its own. It connects your Claude code code, the open source one with any other model provider. So you see, Claude code is running here. Middleware has just launched it, this one. And then you can uh, start talking with it and it is going to give you the response. And behind the scene, of course, it is using Olama based model. So as soon as I have asked it, write me a hello world Python code. It has given me a simple one, which I can use. So I haven't set any key or anything like that. So from there, you can route it to, you know, think for thinking, as I said, showed you earlier to different providers and you can even run it quite easily in your terminal um, with a CLI prompt. And of course, the uh, Performance and the quality of the responses will depend on the model you are using. So, 22.5 coder is quite old, but if you use it with more modern models from Olama, like GPT, OSS, and few others, I think they might be even better, even Deep Sea Carbon. So, you can use it with any model of your choice. So, pretty interesting tool. Give it a try if you are a cloud code user or any other um, agentic CLI user. Let me know what do you think about it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing and also please, please consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support. And finally, if you're interested in learning how to use Cloud Code and in a, some actual examples, just search my channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos around it. That is why I'm not really testing it further in this one because that testing we already have done months ago. Thank you.